Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing great today. Don't ask me why I'm waving. I have no idea. Okay, stop waving. Stop. Okay, we're going to be doing a demo slash showcase on a brand new callout pack that is uploaded to the lspdfire.com site. Uh, it is by the author name of Yaz, uh, Y-A-S-D. And so we're going to be reviewing this uh, slash demo. And uh, if you guys want to get your stuff featured on a video, if you will, uh, you know, then it gets uh, you know, a little bit of you know views on here on this channel. I mean, we're not like Steve the Gamer reviews, you know, but we do our best, the best that we can. Uh, but I want to kind of put out some more content out there, something that's unique, something that is different. And uh, from what I read about the call-out pack, it looks very interesting. So no time wasted. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into this. So thank you, Chris, for submitting that to our Discord for review of this de of the slash demo slash showcase of MC callouts, or what I'd like to refer to it as the callouts, because it sounds cool. I have no, I've never done these calls, never. And you have to take my word for it. I've never done these. I just installed it like 10 minutes ago. So let's do this one. And uh, this may be a little bit anticlimactic because you know what's coming up. You know what I mean? But at least you kind of know what the call's about and then see if it's something you want to put into your game. You know, the actual call out. Report, Ooh. Code three. It says one person is holding a hostage at gunpoint. Dispatch responding code three over there. Nice. Uh, drive to the hostage situation code three priority. Okay, let's go, man. All right, let's see what this call is all about. So far, I like it. It seems different. You know what I mean? Okay, we have a officer on scene. I'm kind of evaluating what's going on. Oh, there's a, um, oh, this is kind of cool. There's a yellow marker right there. That says park your car at the yellow marker and take uh, cover while you, while uh, talking to the suspect. Okay. Here, I'm going to cheat a little bit, okay? So that way you can kind of have an understanding of what's going on, okay? So I'm using a script. It's called in-game screenshot. It's the last time I'll answer that question. If you uh, didn't hear me, in-game screenshot. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's Tracy, right? Oh, he's, it's, this is cool, man. So far, so good. It says, get lost. What do you want it? What do you want here? Don't come any closer. Okay, I'm going to press Y again. So I like the touch so far. Oh, well, here it is. Uh, decide, stay still, uh, apply pressure. Now, these are just some functions I think we can say to him, perhaps. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'll blow your head off, you bastard. <laughs> I like that. You can't do anything to me. I don't want to see any more police or it will or rain bullets. I understand, but the building is surrounded. I want this in peacefully for you. For the hostage and for the officers. Why'd you rob the store? It's her fault. She left me. And now she's my hostage. Oh, man, this is kind of a cool call out because you can start, you know, actually do uh, different kinds of, uh, you know, outcomes. I like this. Let's see, $20,000 in cash. Uh, improved detention conditions. Suggest a fresh start and a psychologist. Uh, we could do... Uh, probably not a good idea to improve detention conditions. How about just uh, suggest a fresh start and a psychologist? We'll see what happens. Since I understand a friend of mine is a great psychologist, she can help you uh, get back on track. How does that sound? We'll make the deal, but what do you want in return? That's him talking to me. Uh, once again, everyone should go home safely and you need to let the hostage go. You give me a getaway car, I'll let the hostage go later. We can't get. We can't do that. But we could uh, suggest a pizza. <laughs> this is kind of a cool call. I like it so far. Uh, getaway. Uh, I'm sorry. The getaway car with limited fuel. That could be an option. Uh, do we want to suggest a pizza? What would happen if the P if we did that? Could we send like an undercover cop in there with the pizza? Uh, how about we do? Uh, how about we do that one? I don't know. How about a pizza instead? <laughs> if I was him, I'd answer with. I'll take the getaway car and a pizza, asshole. <laughs> oh. Oh, he hit her, so I hit him. I think he's still alive. He may not. No, he's dead now. Oh, he's leaking. He's leaking. He's leaking. He was still alive, though, Gus. He was. All right, you two, get out. Get down. I don't know who you are yet. Oh no! Please, I will give you money. Oh. Okay, how much are we talking? I mean, it better be more than five hundred dollars. Come on. Hurry. That cop's watching me. 
<laughs> Sorry, this is not part of the call out, okay? I'm just kind of jacking around. All right, so now we're gonna keep this. Uh, we're gonna keep this going. Uh, watch this now. Uh, so hostage arrested was the uh, was the question at the bottom left of the screen above the mini map. Now I'm gonna let let all the traffic go right now. Uh, so one critique that I would give uh, Chris, if there's any way possible uh, to not have the uh, the the call code four that fast, because if you notice, Chris. I'm talking to him if he's watching this. Uh, there's no cops here. And notice uh, everybody's gone. It seems very anticlimactic at that point. And I've kind of talked to many authors when they do you know, call outs. Uh, if you can let the officers remain on scene no matter what until we end the call. You know what I mean? Uh, let me end the call. Because I think the majority of us uh, want to have cops presence here. And then we can call an ambulance and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, let's do this one right here. It's called MC uh, Lost Freight. Let's try this one. And I'm kind of curious to see uh, what this call out's kind of about. Citizens report a roadway blocked in Vinewood Hill. Respond code 3. All right, so this call reports uh, Lost Freight on the highway. Oh, okay. Dispatch responding code 3 over there. 10 4, Sam 44. Okay, so there may be some lost freight. I was thinking it was going to be like an investigation, but I think it may be a lost freight as in something, maybe an object of the road or something, right? Let's check this out, see. Okay, now the reason why I'm responding code three is because they're saying it was directly on the highway, and so it could cause a huge issue. Uh, let's take a look here. It may be... Oh, okay. Uh, we didn't really need to respond to code three to this. Oh, he's uh, there's guys waving at me over there. Okay, uh, let's back it up here. This is not legit. Sorry. I guess maybe I read it wrong. Uh, this kind of shows you I've never done this call out pack, right? I have a trap. Have traffic kind of stop. Let me go ahead and just release him again. Now he's waving at me. Uh, let's see what he says. Um, not really sure. It's got me uh, genuinely interested now. Dispatch, show me 23. Uh, we're going to be at the uh, water station, 219 uh, Ellis Freeway. Now, we don't, we don't want to interact with him with Stop the Ped because it may stop everything. So we just uh, just kind of come up to him. We'll just press Y here. Hello, uh, you called about Lost Freight? Uh, yeah, the trailer's door swung open and now stuff's falling onto the highway. Okay. Uh, that's dangerous. Uh, what were you carrying? Uh, lots of office stuff. Cabinets, screens, chairs, speakers. I see. Uh, okay, where are we headed to? I was going to be uh, going in this one direction. So search uh, that one side of the highway. Okay, it says uh, dispatch block the last highway entrance. Parts are on the road. Okay, that's what we're supposed to kind of... Okay, we could do it like this. It would sound more legit. Dispatch, be advised that uh, we may have some objects in the road. It's going to be heading... Uh, Eastbound Ellis Freeway, so just be advised of that. We're going to be shutting down parts of the freeway in just a moment. See, the grammar place, if you say the word be advised, you can say whatever you want afterwards. Make it sound cooler. Okay, uh, copy. Traffic will be stopped. Uh, units en route. Oh, this is kind of a cool thing. Oh, it looks like he shut it down. Oh, this is, this is cool, guys. This is really cool. You have to understand what's going on here. Uh, I didn't do any of this as far as shutting down the freeway. Uh, the callout pack did this. So uh, the the callout is officially shutting down the entire freeway. Oh, uh, what was that? I heard a, a ding. But maybe I didn't get a notification. It may be my settings though. Because I have the plugin called Feed Flusher enabled. Okay, let's just kind of go down here and see if we see anything, maybe, in the road. I think it was going the other direction, though, right? Oh, I see something there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go back uh, down. Let's go back down here. Oh, this is a cool call out. Oh, what? Look at this. They have an actual officer over here. And they've got this blocked off. 
Right here, I'm, I'm enjoying the call out. We got a, a sheriff right there. Uh, oh, talk to the officer, okay. This is uh, very well made so far. I like this call out pack. Go oh, talk to him. He looks like Mark D'Angelo <laughs> on my 5M server. A little bit. I uh, see. Hello. Uh, how much longer is uh, this going to take? Oh, that's him talking to me. I got other things to do, too. <laughs> if you wouldn't talk so much, uh, I'd be gone already. <laughs> okay, so he's just telling me, you know, like he's got other things to do type of thing. Oh, that's cool. I like that. And then we're going to move on down here and we're going to be looking for objects in the road. Now, some of you may find this kind of cheesy and stuff like that, but I like it because it's different. Uh, here's a little help. Oh, okay, I'm not sure what that means. Oh. Okay, so uh, Chris, uh, the maker of the mod, has put little markers on here for us because uh, I think what it does is when you do a call out like this, if it takes a little longer than expected, uh, then he's got like a little markers for you in case you're having difficulty locating the objects, which is a good thing. Let's uh, see, what can I do here? I'll press Y, right? Okay, object removed. Nice. I like that. Uh, probably better to do it that way and instead of loading it by hand. Although it would, be, it would look kind of cool though. Uh, that way you can come up here. Now I'm using another mod here called Trunk Control. And then we can kind of load it that way. Uh, but it may be safer to do it that way, Chris. Uh, like you did, I like that. I'm going to leave my trunk open. Because evidently there's a lot of stuff here. So there's one. Uh, we're going to go down here. Sorry, I'm doing a little keyboard driving. Uh, here's another one. This would be good for like a highway patrol, right? Here's a, uh, like a pan. And then we'll remove that one. There you go. And like I said, if, if we could attach it to ourselves and then throw it in the back here, it'd be kind of cool. But, you know, I understand the limitations, you know, of call outs and stuff. It, it may be a little hard to do it that way. It may, it also may glitch out or something too. So, like I said, probably best to do it this way. But sort of like the uh, BLK highway call outs where you can uh, take, you know, like tires and sacks of trash off the freeway. You know how you can grab it and throw it. You know what I mean? Over there. That would be kind of cool, but I think we're trying to return it to this guy, right? That's what I'm thinking. So it may be better like, to do it this way. Oh, that's cool, man. I like that. Let's see. I wonder if that's all of them. I'm not sure. Oh, there may be one more down here, I think. Uh, right here. Oh, it's a chair. <laughs> I've seen these uh, before on the freeway, like legit. I've seen this, you know, on the, on the freeway, like in the middle of the freeway. These could be very dangerous. All right, I think we got them all. I see we're code four items removed, four out of four. Uh, thank you, traffic can flow again. Nice. Okay, now I am curious to see uh, if we can go back and talk to the guy. Uh, it would make more sense. So, uh, you guys, you know, I'm, I'm rather honest. And it uh, looks like his vehicle is gone. So that, that is an issue. Uh, that would be good. It would be better if the vehicle stayed there, like a trailer or something like that. And then, can we talk to him? I can no longer talk to him. Uh, so that would be an issue. So, so far, the call was working good. And then this part here uh, is not very good. Uh, because I can't talk to him again and give him back his stuff. Because supposedly it's in the back of my car, right? Even the chair? I don't know. Uh, and, yeah, it would have been kind of cooler if we could uh, get up here and then he still had his, his truck and trailer. And then also uh, we could just, you know, just interact with him one more time and just something like, uh, here you go. Uh, you want me just to drag it out of my car or you want to unload it from the back of my car? You know, something like that. Just a verbal thing. And then just like call out's complete. Or maybe... You can handle the call as you see fit and then end it, your, end it yourself. And that way I can just get his information like this. And then I can use, you know, I uh, get his ID because that's what most officers would do. Uh, because it, uh, something as major as this shutting down a freeway, we would need to still interact 
you know, with the person uh, because for records and stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to do a quick uh, ped, you know, check. Just a quick ped check here to see who it is. It's going to be Josh Cassidy. Okay, then he would be free to go. And then uh, it would be to the driver's seat of the truck that is no longer here. So that, that would be an issue. So I guess we're going to go ahead and just dismiss him, dismiss him on foot with his invisible truck. <laughs> so that would be kind of cool. Just a little touch right there uh, may need to be added in. But I do like the call. It is definitely different. All right, let's move on to the next call. Let's, do, let's move on down to something that sounds maybe a little more interesting uh, because I'm not sure what lost object is. The shooting sounds like it might be uh, really cool. It may be uh, kind of a generic. I'm not really sure. I haven't done it. it Maybe really cool. I don't know. But this one here sounds a little bit different. So solve murder two. Uh, let's go on to that. Uh, now see, this may be another murder case too. I don't know. But this one here says solve murder two. So let's go ahead and uh, do that one. And uh, see what this call is all about. This may be a, a good detective call, possibly. We have a homicide. Officer yeah, detective at murder case. Dispatch, show me you're responding over there as soon as I get uh, into uniform in a cool car. Thanks. <laughs> Drive to Mirror Park and Los Santos detective required. Okay, cool. So I'm going to change uniforms really fast, make it look cooler. Uh, give me one second. Uh, power of editing. One sec. There we go. Cool uh, suit right there. You fucking idiot. Wow. Trying to get me demonetized, asshole. All right, let's go on over to Mirror Park. You know, I was kind of grabbed an unmarked unit, you know. Oh, this would not be a code three response. I'm just trying to get through some lights, you know. And we should have probably some more people on scene. Uh, we do. All right, let's park over here. And I'm gonna kind of cut my lights. Uh, actually, I'm gonna cut all my lights. We don't really need our lights, technically. Since I think it's a murder scene, uh, they should hopefully have some things kind of blocked off here. Uh, let's go down here and talk. Oh, we do have some people over there to the right. Uh, go, go the officer. <laughs> uh, let's talk to him. Hello, detective. Uh, my name is Jack Walter. Uh, just uh, call me Jack. Uh, I hope uh, traffic wasn't too bad. Uh, good day. Uh, no, it was okay. Uh, what we got here? Uh, we have a dead person uh, possibly murdered. Officer Dawson over there has more information. On the other side, uh, we have three possible suspects, and one of them is the caller. Thanks. Uh, I'll talk to Officer Dawson then. All right, let me go talk to uh, her, all right? Is this her? Yeah. Hey, Officer Dawson. Uh, Officer Walter said you had some, some infos. Uh, good day, Detective. You can call me Erica. Uh, the victim is Liliana uh, Wyatt, 33 years old, had lived on Nicole Avenue nearby. Uh, yeah, we have three possible suspects for a potential murder. Uh, one of them, uh, Belle Hamilton, is the caller. But she also could be the potential murderer. Let's just go uh, to the crime scene and investigate, see if you can find something. Uh, okay, we got these things labeled, or at least areas that we can look at. I wonder if it looks better at night. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it daytime for now. Unless with this is... Okay, a mobile phone. Uh, the background shows a black obey uh, tailgater. Okay, I think that was like a vehicle, right? Uh, the blood looks uh, still fresh. It must have happened not longer than uh, two hours ago. All right, and this is her here. Uh, she has a wound to her head. She got hit with the with that broken bottle over there. Hmm, a half-eaten burger. Not interesting. <laughs> Investigation finished. Uh, go to uh, one of the caller, right? So the caller is back over here, I think. Uh, talk to the suspect uh, using Waiki. Uh, hello there. I'm the uh, detective in the case. Uh, what's your name? Uh, good evening. My name is Bell Hamilton. Let me write some notes here. I was walking down the street when I saw... I did the right thing by calling us. I'm quickly checking your details. Uh, dispatch, uh, can I have a uh, person check on Bell Hamilton? He had 27. Okay, right there above the mini map. Stand by. I'm checking. Uh, no warrants. No arrests. One citation. Speeding. Uh, records clean. 
I still have some questions for you. Uh, do you know the victim? No, I don't. I imagine the uh, family members how they must feel. Uh, we'll take care of them. May I please see uh, your mobile phone? She shows mobile phone here, but uh, there are private photos of me. I, I can't give it away. Really? What kind of photos are we talking about here? Uh, you can keep it. Uh, what vehicle do you drive and what is the license plate? I drive a, a Begali license plate. A6 Lincoln Union Nora. I think it's like A46, something like that. I dispatch. I need a vehicle check on A6 Lincoln Union Nora 445. That's what it is. It says copy. Give me a minute. Uh, expired insurance. That's about it. That's registered her. All right. But your vehicle has expired insurance. Uh, she re you renew it. Okay. I didn't know that. I'll do that. Uh, that'll be all. Uh, please wait for further instructions. All right. All right. Cool. I like this so far. Hey, bud. Uh, let me talk to you a sec. Uh, good evening, sir. I'm the local detective. May I have your, your name, please? Hello, detective. My name is uh, Taylon Knight, uh, born uh, 12 December 1992. So why am I being held? Uh, you were in the area at the as this happened. Uh, that's against my will. Let me go. I don't have any. I, I haven't done anything. Uh, once you answer a few questions, you can. Uh, where do you live? I don't live nearby, two blocks away. And do you know the victim? No. Question mark. You live near the victim and you uh, tell me you don't know Liliana Wy Wyatt? Okay, I know her. I just don't like her. She wasn't very friendly nor active or liked in the neighborhood. She once called the cops on me because my dog was barking a few times shortly after 10 p.m. Mm, okay. Can you show me your cell phone, please? I would like to, but I dropped it last week and gave it to your repair shop. It'll cost about $100. I understood. What vehicle do you drive and what is license plate? I have a Vapid minivan. License plate is uh, 47LIF341. Dispatch need to play check on 47 Lincoln Ida Frank 341. Are they going to check on that? Uh, vehicle registered uh, four months ago. It's a Talon Knight. Vapid minivan. Okay. Dispatch check the uh, name Talon Knight, please. Yeah, 27. Uh, one citation parking on the wrong side of the street. Uh, record looks clean. Uh, once I'm finished, I'll come back to you, all right? So far, he's he's a little creepy guy, right? <laughs> so far. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Uh, Detective Powers. Hello, miss. I'm the detective on the case. Okay, give me, give me your name, please. Hello there. My name is Nyla Lane. Gotcha. Dispatch, can I get a name check on a Nyla Lane? Yeah, 27. Right, stand by. Uh, no warrants, no arrests. Parking and disabled parking space. All right, sounds good. Uh, where do you live? I live in Vinewood Hills. I have a flat there. Uh, that's a nice place to live. Can I see your cell phone, please? Yeah, sure. It's in my... Oh, shit. Where is it? Maybe I left it in my car then? Oh, I hope so. Uh, so what car do you drive? I drive a um, Grotty Stinger. Yeah. Okay, what's the plate number? Uh, I don't know. You don't know the license plate of your own vehicle? Yeah, I mean, it's complicated. Okay, whatever. Uh, dispatch, I need a plate check on a Grotty Stinger. Owner is Nyla Lane. Now right, we're going to see what, what we get here. No results in the combination. Let me check the owner. I found a different vehicle on the owner. Oh, interesting. There it is. Obey Tailgater. That's the name of the vehicle. Uh, interesting, uh, miss. Uh, why did you lie about your vehicle? What do you mean? I mean, I have two vehicles, or do I? Very funny. Uh, did you lie about your phone, too? Have you found it nearby? Is that why you're asking? What's your relationship to the victim? Uh, she's my cousin. She owes me money a lot. Is that why you murder her? Huh? Is that why you did it? <laughs> well, I drove her to the house to comfort her about her debts. Or about the debts. All right, thank you for cooperation. I'll come back to you, all right? All right, stand by. Murder! Can't help it, guys. That's sarcastic asshole, what can I say? All right, let's talk to her again. I'm going to see what she says. All right, I searched the uh, crime scene and talked to the suspects. Did you could find out who the murderer is? Oh, okay. So we can we can pick, right? I'm going to go for the guy in the middle. I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to go not Lane. Miss Lane was around as it happened, and it's uh, related to the victim. And she is related to the victim. 
She lied about her vehicle and her cell phone. Her cell phone shows her vehicle. She lost it on the scene. Uh, she's a murderer. Oh, I see. Go ahead and arrest the suspect. Okay, is I think that's the end of the conversation, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. All right, Nyla. Get over here. All right, now we could use other mods. You know, stop the bed. All right, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay. Now you're being placed under arrest for reasonable suspicion that uh, you've committed homicide or uh, against your cousin. Okay. Uh, we're going to get further details and get a question down at the station. Uh, it, it feels like I'm kind of, you know, I still feel like I'm lonely out here again. So uh, the only thing I would tell you or tell any author out there that makes plugins, uh, the call out packs and things, uh, let us end the call ourselves. You know, I think that would be better personally, because I mean, look, I mean, it looks desolate out here and we're a detective. You know what I mean? So I think it'd be cooler if we could do that. Uh, they, those are just my thoughts. Uh, let's do the intoxicated individual. Uh, there's a reason for that because I like to really make sure they are truly intoxicated and see if it blends well with stop the ped. So we're going to do that one. Let's see what we get here. We've got a disturbance in Mirror Park. I do like how they're spawning nearby, which is kind of cool. This bad, show me your spawning over there. 10 4 copy, Sam 44. Okay, this would be like a code one response type of thing, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, flip on our lights anyway, so forgive this. This is not code three, by the way. But we wanna get over there. I kind of move AI out of the way, you know. Uh, let's see. Cut our lights. Uh, we have someone kind of in the middle of the road. Uh, she's just kind of standing there. Uh, let's take a look and see what's going on. This patch, show me 23. It's going to be 188 uh, West Murray Drive. Roger, Sam, 44. Proceed with caution. Okay, let me talk to her. What is she wearing? Oh, okay. I didn't know if there was, uh, like, an SFW type of thing, you know? <laughs> Wasn't sure. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, you need assistance? Nah. I, I'm fine. Oh, shit. oh, oh, you asshole. Okay, he hit me. I thought she hit me. <laughs> okay, being touched in public is not legal. Okay. I, I what? Get out of my face. Yeah, I like how she's walking away. I like that. Oh, there's no further speech. Okay. Uh, tell you what, let's go to the other side of the road here. And you know that's uh bad luck to walk next to a black cat like that right well it's kind of black and white but hey stop stop all right so i do like the uh, pet bottle that he chose uh this is good uh, let me let me get a zero in on our face here it's the little things you know what i mean so this pet model is really good i think he chose that i think he did because i've never seen this pet model on other call outs so uh this is really cool i like this all right now we're gonna do a breath test now this is not Really legit per se, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway because I want to see if it's compatible with the call out, right? And th that's the breath test right there, breath bottle by Pacific Pig as well. And she's negative, interesting. Okay, uh, we could do a drug swab. I'm uh, not really fond of my drug swab, but hey, whatever. All right, it's all negative. That that may be a problem. Uh, it really, if it is a and uh, maybe intoxicated individual. She sounded intoxicated whenever you're talking to her, right? Through the text, right? Uh, but uh, unfortunately, she's not positive for anything. So I'm not sure if Chris needs to modify that or not. But there's not much I can do. Uh, but we can do a 27 here. Dispatch requesting a 27. I forgot her name already. But it'll give me a made to love. And yeah, there it is, 9, 10, 2000. Uh, she's valid. Uh, no reason to even hold her. You know what I mean? Uh, there's the, we'll just dismiss her on foot. Uh, she could be having a psychotic episode. I don't know. She seems she sounded intoxicated when I was talking to her, but she's walking fine. And uh, yeah, there's no reason to hold her. Uh, so, it's, yeah, I'm being honest, uh, it's kind of an, an odd call uh, for someone standing in the middle of the road. But it would have been cooler, I think, if they, she was positive to something. So there's that. 
report a kidnapping in Mission Row. Respond code three. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, pull them over right here. I'm not sure what that says there's already a call out running. I think that's on my end. I think it has to do with call out interface. I probably have a key bind or something screwed up. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and talk to them. Let's about show me on a traffic stop. We'll just do it that way. Okay, interact with uh, any occupant of the vehicle by going up to them and oh that's that sells beef our stuff there. You see how this is kind of like non-legit to you, right? I'm just kind of going up to a suspect's vehicle. It's got someone pulled over, you know what I mean? I maybe we can get at least one backup, right? Dispatch requesting code two backup. We'll do at least a uh, backup unit, right? I think it would look a little bit more legit that way. And we'll get them here a little bit faster. Roger. We're there they are. Now. Okay, now I can talk to him. Hey, officer. Uh, hey, I'm an officer from the local police department. I can see that. What's the reason for the stop? Uh, we got a call about your vehicle. Who else is with you? Uh, just my boss in the left rear. You don't need anything to know anything else. I'll ask my officer back over there. <laughs> okay, I can smell alcohol too, by the way. It's up to me who I'm talking to. Dude, don't mess with us. We haven't done anything. Sir, I'm not talking to you. Let me talk to the lady now. Maybe that was the guy in the back seat, right? Uh, ma'am, how are you doing? You know these gentlemen? Yes. The woman appears to shake and and feels uncomfortable. Okay, that's the little thing above the minimap out there. Left rear passenger saying, uh, see, there's nothing wrong here. Stop wasting... A little typo right there. I do believe that's what it was. Kind of hard to see sometimes. All right. I want everyone to step out one by one. Oh, they did. Oh, they're going to... Okay, they're going to start running. Okay. We'll get this guy. This bat show me in a pursuit. Okay, stop. Taser. Taser, taser. <laughs> All right, stop right there, okay? All right, stop, or I'm going to tase you again. Right through his thick leather jacket. All right, so they got out and started running. Uh, that's that's actually kind of cool, you know. And I wonder if the lady is still on scene. She may be. But my partner there was able to tase that one, so that's good that I had a backup, right? Yeah, it does say go to the victim and make sure she's fine. This batch, you can lift the air. We got 215. Okay, let's get down here. Hello? Oh, hey, come on back. I hate recording videos that are that seem rushed. I hate it, but this is what people want. All right, now I can talk to her. Hey, ma'am, uh, you're safe now. Oh my God, thank you so much. I was so afraid. Uh, do you know the men who kidnapped you? No, I've never seen them. They told me they were going to sell me. Oh, that's for trafficking, right? Uh, okay, they're behind bars now. I uh, need medical assistance. No, I'm fine. Just a bit shaky right now. Thank you very much for your help. Oh, see? Oh, no, 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 no. So we can't have them walk off like that, man. I, okay, now I have to stop her again. See, I don't like, I don't like the um, way the, the call-out's code for like that. I just don't like it. Now, I just say right here, it says, uh, choose if you want a taxi, Uber, or, okay, I got that message. I did see that. But once you, uh, once the, the, uh, the call out code force, uh, see, my officer will stay here because, uh, he's a backup unit, right? So that's good. And he's got the guy over there. That's fine. But I had to restop her. That's okay. That's okay. This call is fine. Uh, then we get her like a taxi or an Uber. We'll just say Uber. Oh, no, it's going to spawn back at West Vinewood. That's okay. Individual is suspected to be carrying a firearm. This badge, show me your spawning code three. Harry Potter style. <laughs> All right, we're going to Harry Potter our ass over here. That's what I call it. Uh, we're going to probably spawn down here. And then uh, someone's got a firearm. 
And I think I still have my AR, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, so this call out you would not normally get because uh, of AOP, area of patrol, more than likely, unless the author did not set it up that way. But I have it set up to where uh, we can get that, that call, even if we're really far away. Uh, you probably will not get this call if you're up in the county. Uh, it does say someone has a firearm over here. Let's take a look. And I'm trying to look to see if they have a firearm. And uh, see, I don't see anybody yet. Does anybody over there have a firearm? I'm just looking, kind of cheating a little bit. Sorry. Are they inside? No. Oh, I don't see any any uh, in anybody's hands. Interesting. Oh, they may pull it out here in a second. Oh, it's this guy right here. Maybe we had some witnesses say that he had a firearm out. Okay, this is kind of cool. I like it. So it's not visible right now. Maybe he pulled it on somebody. Dispatch, show me 23570. All right, let's talk to him. Yeah, I know it. Hi, sir. How you doing? Hello. Is it okay if we uh, talk for a moment? I know. Who are you? What do you want? I'm the police, man. <laughs> I just want to chat. I think you might have a weapon on you. That's not true. You have the wrong person. All right, please cooperate with us. Uh, we can get things sorted out. No, never. Oh. <laughs> Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> okay, we got it. Uh, suspect died. Code 4. Yeah, yeah, they died. I think. Are you dead? Let me check. Uh, yeah, you're dead. Uh, yeah, he had an assault rifle on him. Yeah, that, for sure. So that was good that we had some speech, though, before that. Uh, sometimes they walk around, you know, says suspect armed. They're walking around with an assault rifle. So I do like that. And then you can go through the process, you know, CPR stuff and ambul ambulance, ambulance, why ambulance? And then CSI and all that. You guys seen that a million times. Uh, let's see here. Sometimes the authors will put goodies on them. You know, let's take a look and see if he, uh, if Chris did that. Sometimes they will do that. I do like when they do that because of a good touch. Certain items. Uh, this one probably didn't need uh, to have items. Um, it'd be kind of cool, maybe a few, I don't know, maybe a few rounds of ammunition, you know, right? It'd be kind of cool, or uh, maybe a note of some kind that, uh, could be just like an S note, if you know what I mean, <laughs> without saying it out loud because of you two. Uh, so there was, there's that. This bad show me code four. I know, uh, he fell. He fell down on a rock. Relax. Citizens report assistance needed in Rockford Hills. Okay, let's go ahead and go over this. Uh, drive to the caller and find out what the issue is. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see how far away this is. Uh, really, it's not too far away. I don't think. Yeah, we're fine. We don't teleport over there. And we're gonna whip over here to Rockford Hills. Oh, these cars actually kind of look like Rockford Hills, right? They kind of—they do to me, anyway. They look like they belong out here. And uh, I have this vehicle pack linked on my website. Yeah, a lot of vehicle packs over there. If you guys want to take a look at that. Okay, so it's got. Oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, interesting. We never get calls over here like this. Eugenetics. Interesting. Dispatch, show me 23. Roger that, Sam 44. Proceed with caution. I don't really need my lights on, but it's okay. 
Now, what will be interesting, is it going to be related to this facility? I don't know. Maybe not. It may, it may be just the location. Let me see. Okay, let's see what he wants here. Hello, uh, are you the caller? Yes, I need your help. I have a huge problem. I lost my shoe. <laughs> my poor shoe. I loved it so much. Uh, I was kind of hoping for something to get that lab facility. It would have been cooler. Uh, sorry, this is not a reason to call the police. But it was a $100 shoe. I'm sorry, but can you help me please search for it? Uh, really? Okay, I'll accept it. <laughs> I would never do this in real life. Okay, I'll help you search your, for your shoe. Uh, what am I doing? You have a shoe. You have two shoes on your feet. I don't. I don't get this call. Sorry, I just don't. Now I could have boarded the call, but. Uh, what do I do? Am I really looking for a shoe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, let's take a look over here, maybe. Why do I feel like I'm playing a like a game where you're doing a quest item? It feels like a quest item, right? We're in search for the whole issue. Pablo Santos. Nothing over here. Bro, I don't know where your damn shoe is, okay? Maybe it's lost inside this really cool lab. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, God. Is it a lady shoe? Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, shot to the collar. Hey, I found your shoe. It'd be cooler if I did the wave like this. But it's not part of the call. Hey, I found your shoe. Uh, do you have a pair of panties laying around somewhere? You want those too? <laughs> Thank you very much. I wish I had eyes like you. Are you trying to flirt with me or what? Alright, but next time I only call for emergencies, alright? Alright, come here. Alright, what is your name? Uh, pet check. Hunter Johnson. 11-16-78. Uh, alright, Hunter. Uh, don't call the police next time for a stupid shoe, okay? Thanks. Okay, there we go. Don't ever call me for a, a stupid lost shoe. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, there's that. All right. So, uh, what I'm going to tell you is uh, that particular call is kind of silly. Just being honest. You know, I'm, I'm being totally honest. Uh, when I saw the eugenics right here, this right here, I, I think it would have been kind of cooler uh, if the call was based off that. I don't know. Like a... <laughs> A lost uh, lab rat or something. I don't know. Uh, I, you know, I had to think about it. I'm just saying, thinking at the top of my head, uh, maybe, um, maybe a monkey, right? That'd be kind of cool. Like, I've seen call outs like that before. Like, maybe a monkey escaped, and then you have to uh, track it down, and the monkey stops, and then you call an animal control. Uh, that'd be kind of cool, right? That's kind of a, you know, things that are on my mind. Uh, or just, a box of samples of uh, something that someone hid. Maybe someone who works for the lab type of thing. Uh, things like that. I don't know. I'm just going to think it out loud. So uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and just kind of, uh, we're going to be stopping the uh, the video here. But if you want to hear my, my thoughts, you can kind of listen if you want. All right. So uh, the call out pack is uh, by Yaz, uh, Y-A-S-D. I do believe that's how you uh, spell that. And I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Yes, maybe. But his name is Chris. Uh, thank, thank you, Chris, again, for submitting uh, this call-out pack through the Discord. I really do appreciate it. And then also, uh, the name of the call-out pack is MC Callouts. I like to call it Mick Callouts for some reason. I think it sounds kind of cooler, but uh, MC Callouts actually is the name of the call-out pack. Uh, is it worth downloading? I think so. Uh, I think it's got some really good uniqueness to it. Uh, it needs a, little, a tiny bit of work with some of the, uh, some of the calls, but... Definitely a fresh, uh, you know, I'm sorry, a breath of fresh air is what I'm trying to say. A breath of fresh air when it comes to call-out packs. Uh, most of these are not the same like the like the other call-out packs. So you put a lot of time and effort into these. 
so I can tell that you did and it's a lot of uh, a lot of hours spent yeah you know, putting this stuff into the game so thank you again Chris and I uh, highly suggest you go ahead and download you know, uh, MC callouts it's definitely worth it and to have it in your game and it seems stable that's the biggest thing too it seems stable it doesn't uh, you know seem to crash your game and I'm also on an older version of GT5 by the way so it may even be even more stable you know for you guys if you're on a newer version until next time, I'll see you on the next patrol. Take care and stay safe.